Hello everyone. Uh, today is Sunday, December first, twenty thirteen. Anyway, just doing another uh, interview video. Anyways, well, last night a uh, buddy of mine that texted me about uh, or a response video that I made about uh, Chuck and Jack and Wish Bar Shucks Part One and Part Two. I mean, it's getting getting to suck because. Uh, the jackass manager over there fucking banned us. Yeah, that's right. He banned me just for making that video. He banned my buddy because, you know, he was friends with me. And you hear his voice in the background a little bit. On the beginning of part one. Hey, what the deal was, you know, I'll just point out the facts how they have lame service. So that's fucking freedom of speech. I mean, if he doesn't like it, too fucking bad. I mean, look. If you just look on, uh, well, it's a little bit of, like similar to the videos that One Pug Life made. One of them about Coyle's Rooms with a dirty scale in the kitchen. And another one about Tim Hortons with their cup full of dirty water in their spoons. So, I mean, after watching that, then I know not to go over there if I'm ever in Canada. Yeah, so, you know, it all happened in St. Thomas, Ontario. Anyway, this is Gar, North Carolina, USA. And with the problem with the bar situation, like almost everyone, they don't have karaoke. Now they have carry the back with another friend who's a DJ, but worst thing is, well, me and my buddy are still banned, so we can't never come back there. Unless uh, that jackass got fired, the manager, or somebody buy him out. We'll just waiting to see somebody buy him out. But anyway, what I found out on the video last night my buddy made, uh, the owners of Shug Shack had a house that burned down. So anyway, uh, so for some reason they're putting more of the money on there, but not on the payroll of Shug Shack. So everyone had to work for free for for those two weeks. It was earlier this year. It was on the front page of the newspaper and going. I mean it was sad. I mean if that ever if, if I was in that situation, if I was working there and I said, hell no, I'm not working like a slave just for two weeks. I can get paid. Man, that's fucking stupid. Anywho, uh, my buddy who made the video, he used to work there for a little bit. So uh, they gave him a 30 day probation. Well, it turns out he worked 11 days out of that month. So they gave him too many damn days off because they're fucking cheap. I mean, they're paying minimum wage. I'm not arguing that, well, they're going to pay him minimum wage. But he has wrestling experience, so they should at least pay him a little bit more. Since he worked over in fast food before. I'm not going to mention anything, but, uh... So anyway, uh, he tried to claim for employment for some of the missing money that he was supposed to get paid. But they, they didn't want to pay it either. So they're cheating him out. Anyway, uh... One time... At one time, another friend was with us, and, uh... We see the manager and the other son thought it would be alright to pay it play a prank on by giving that one of the bartender's numbers. Well, actually, she's one of the best bartenders here, so she was there for like two years, and she quit work back in May. Yeah, she has not come back, so I'm guessing she's very disgusted about second check. We worked in there, and that's why she never came back. Not even on her day off. Yeah, and she's such a sweet girl. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I give it out a number, because, you know, I knew it was kind of weird, because uh, she has a boyfriend, and uh, he works there too, so what are you going to give out a number? I know something fishy going on because he, they said, uh, they said to the guy, uh, hey, well, take her number anyway and she'll give you a blowjob. I mean, what? I mean, come on. That, that, I mean, I knew that was a fucking lie anyway. It didn't happen to me, but it happened to my friend, but, yeah, he, he said, well, I'm not, I'm not going to take that number down. And so yeah, don't do it, man. She, I mean, she didn't give the drum herself. Don't even give someone else. Like you have to ask messenger boys. So, I mean, that's kind of wrong for a manager to give out, you know, like, one of his employees' numbers. Just like that. And luckily, he wasn't that stupid to call it up, that number, and make a fool of himself. And another thing about the manager. Uh, now, I warn you, uh, you know, customers who ever go in there to get a drink and, and relax. Okay, this manager, he hits on every woman who walks in there. So either they accept his uh, advances, or when they reject him, they just leave and never come back. So he say anything vulgar, inappropriate, you know, they can't hear. 
And I know some girls don't like one of the strangers hitting on them like that and stuff. And I don't do that shit, you know. I, just, I mean, I know how to talk to people better than he can. But there was a lot of customers because of that shit. So, I mean, it's kind of unprofessional for a man to do that. And there's something you need to know about him. Now, he doesn't have a car. Me, I have a car, too. I mean, I have a car and a truck. I make my own money. I, I mean, I probably make more money than he does. And you see some of the skills I do, you know, with all move. So I have more hands-on experience with anything than he does. So why are you going to waste your time with a crime like that? And on top of that, uh, there's a thing called karma coming back to him. The way he's, you know, pissing off everybody and all that stuff, losing customers. Now, something that worse happened. He was at another bar with another buddy of his. They got in a fight. And uh, he tried to run. He fell off a ledge. Ledge about uh, 15 feet, I'm guessing. And he fell and broke his leg. The next week after that, I think it was on Halloween. He was on crutches. So his so-called girlfriend was with him, and she was driving him. And then she fell asleep at the wheel, and they crashed into a ditch. And he was all bruised up. And then he keeps on saying, well, I have a girlfriend, and I'm like you. I said, I said, dude, what kind of girlfriend freaking fall asleep at the wheel and freaking bailed out after they crashed into the ditch and lazy sitting in there? That's not a girlfriend. He's fucking idiot, man. I mean, if he would have just kept his act together and his license and his car, he wouldn't be in that situation. He would have been the one driving. But I'm thinking, well, there's some girl in there to pass the sea with him. She'll probably leave him in there. I mean, leave her in there to die. That's what I'm guessing. So, I mean, any more of this, furthermore, in this uh, rant, you know, I'm just putting a bad review, of, you know, on Yelp.com. Just one star. Well, there's more people coming in that, you know, one of my other friends was doing karaoke. But, I'm you know, I'm just guessing that during the week, you know, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, so, I mean, this, this is crazy, you know, so, I mean, if you want to waste your time and money with bad service like that, don't, don't even try, man. Like, would you go to a restaurant that have uh, dirty dishes on the tables for over two hours? I don't think so. Yeah, so this is like the responsibility, you know, of my friends do about Southern Shack. So, if you don't, if you're not sure what the store is about, just check out, you know, just the first one I have. I'll try to put like a URL link on something like that, just so you can watch it. And if you Google up on, if you look it up in Google, uh, video section, it'll come up. So, until then, don't want to watch the future.